tomorrow I'm uh, leaving uh, home because I'm having the house painted. So we're going to Patia for uh, four days. So Atikap, hello everybody. And um, what that turned into, because we're renting a great big place in Patia, was to invite the entire Sarusi family down from their farm way up north in uh, northern Thailand. So let's review as I stop here to get some gasoline for our two hour trip to Pattaya. I'm, I have the custody of the teenagers and I get to spend two hours with them. But here's the thing, they speak Thai, so I could just pretend that they're talking about stuff that is uh, intelligent, uh, sophisticated and insightful. Yeah, it's nice to pretend. <laughs> I've rented here once before and it was a very nice place. We were in the uh, unit at the end the last time, but it seems they're all the same. They have a two car garage, a three story townhouse with uh, two bedrooms on each floor. As I said, the listing says that they accommodate 9 to 12. Yeah, we're clearly going to put more than that in here. Not working. <laughs> <laughs> the advanced teenage crew has arrived. Kelly is already hooked into the entertainment system where she's setting up her uh, selfie stuff while the other two teenagers are doing something similar out by the pool. So yeah, it has a nice pool, a bunch of bedrooms. Ying, yes. notify command that the advance team has secured the premises. Huh? Call your mother. Call your mother. Yes. Call your mother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> So the ostensible purpose of coming to Patea was to uh, just vacate the Bangkok house so they could paint it, but, it also became a family reunion. I was actually going to have the house painted when I go to the States in uh, three weeks. But Boo Cow said, no, let's rent a place and, uh, and we can have a family reunion. And it's also a 14th birthday party for Miss Kelly, the princess. So yeah, it's a combination uh, house painting, family reunion, birthday party. And it gives me an opportunity. I mean, this is a target-rich environment for a photographer. <laughs> Her mob of family members wanted to go to Koh Lan. Koh means island, so I guess it would be uh, Lan Island, which is basically a beach day. I opted out. I'm not a great big beach fan, but I did want to get lunch, so I came down here to Patia Beach. I thought, ah, what the fuck, come to Hooters. They have good bar food, burgers, and that type of thing. I used to eat at Hooters in Bangkok when I first came here six years ago. And of course, you know, there's a high, you know, bimbo appeal with the Hooters girls. So I think I'm... But yeah, they, they don't have the air conditioning on. Who runs this place? I've been living in a tropical place for 11 years now, and I still want air conditioning with my lunch. It is pretty hot. It's about 80 degrees. Uh, that would be a Fahrenheit reading for us. Yank folks, I don't know how to convert that quickly, so you can figure it out. Um, so I went looking for a uh, an air conditioning joint, as I expect most, you know, Farang expat tourists. You know, I can imagine a guy, you know, some overweight seventy year old who just flew in from Helsinki, not wanting air conditioning. I mean, yeah, he want air conditioning. So um, I, I think they're mismanaging Hooters. So I came here to Hops, and I was very pleased. A few short steps away from Hooters. 
I mean, really, I think that's, you know, mismanagement bordering on vandalism on the part of Hooters. And they have a seriously cool oven. Well, it's a hot oven, but it's a cool hot oven. With uh, the outside of the oven, it's all copper, polished copper or brass or something like that. And it's really kind of a nice oven. And the pizza's good too. So yeah, beach walk on uh, Pattaya Drive is, you know, moving in a back to normal direction. Uh, it's, there are people here. It is a Friday, so it's still a weekday and, uh, you know, locals who have to work aren't here. But there are tourists here. Uh, Bua and her sister, Bua Cow and her, uh, her five sisters wanted to see Walking Street, which for those of you who aren't aware of that, Walking Street in Pattaya is a collection of bars and brothels. Uh, and uh, it's a very, you know, lit up kind of hectic place. And so, yeah, I took them down there and I was sure there wasn't going to be many people there, but I was surprised. It was a Thursday night and it was about 30%, you know, full compared to when I've seen it in the past, probably, you know, pre-COVID times. So they are moving in that direction. If they have 30% on Thursday night, maybe they'll have 50% on a weekend, I'm guessing. But it's kind of good to see tourists are coming back. Renting this big old house and having my girlfriend's family come down to have a have a visit and a reunion uh, has been quite a special experience for me. We generally go up to uh, their farm at least once a year uh, so people can visit her family. But it's different up there. I don't like staying on the farm. It's a, it's an old traditional style of house uh, with no air conditioning and you know no screens. Uh, so I usually wind up staying in a uh, in a motel kind of resort, and uh, you know that's fine. I do like hanging out on the farm. Uh, also, I get to see the men. The men aren't here because they're working, so just the ladies have come down. Uh, but it's been kind of a special experience having them in a modern home like this, where I can hang with them. It's it's been uh, you know I feel like I'm part of this uh, th this really lovely family. Uh, it, it, what strikes me is just how well they all get along with each other. I mean, from from the youngest, uh, who's sound asleep here on her mother's lap, uh, to uh, you know the 20 year old over there and his girlfriend staring at the staring at her iPhone and Boo's sisters who range in age up to 55, I believe the lady in the blue dress is and. Uh, and what's really particularly uh, uh, beneficial for me is I get to take bikini pictures. My experience here in uh, Patia over the last four days could be summed up in this 10 second TikTok video. Hey, a short time ago, I took up photography. Oh, oh my God. If you like my photography, I've put links in the description below to my Instagram and Facebook and TikTok accounts. If you want to take a look at that, you're welcome to. And 
it's great having all the new people here that just came over recently from Pete's channel at Tyrish Times, also, also from Bill's channel at uh, Unseen Thailand Chiang Mai. Those of you who have recently come over to my channel from those, those two folks, you know, welcome. It's great to have you here. And thanks to, uh, to Pete and Bill for including me on their channels. It's very generous of you and I do appreciate it. So uh, I am back to Bangkok uh, in about an hour. I'm headed back to Bangkok to my home uh, and put that place back together. I came up here to Patia because we were having the place painted. So I have to get that together. Plus I'm preparing for a trip back to the States in about a week on May 5th. I'm headed to the States for a three week trip. There'll be videos about that. Make comments, send me messages. I love it when social media is actually social. Uh, we forget sometimes. Social media has been with us now for two decades and, and it's become a normal part of every day, everybody's lives. And, and we forget how uh, remarkable this technology is that I could stand here in uh, a beach resort in Thailand and talk to people all over the world. Well, you can respond back as well. And I, I do my best to respond to any friendly comments. Uh, so yeah, again, welcome to the channel. It's, it's great having you here. I really do enjoy this. This is a hobby for me and, and it's a fun hobby. It's, it's something that I look forward to continue doing and there'll be more videos coming from uh, New York and other parts of the United States soon as well. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.